keep on them in terms of bigging them up instead of always putting them down and always saying, oh, you shouldn't do this. Shouldn't. Man, a chance, man. Give the Knicks a chance. If you're a real Knicks fan. If you're a real Knicks fan. If you're a real Knicks fan, give him a chance, man. Because I think Thibodeau, I think, I, I know Thibodeau could do it. Remind me of Red Hoseman in the sixth. Mmm, that's somebody. Oh, the comment section, man. That's huh? a that's a big leap. You said Red Hoseman. Yeah, man. They play defense. They pass that rock. They move that rock. That rock move. You remember the old Knicks? That rock move, man. They move that rock, and they played they, and they had superstars. Okay. And then they had no names that turned into superstar. Okay. Right. And then they had the baddest dude on the planet came here and played the way he's supposed to play and won another championship. Earl of Pearl. Pearl was a bad dude, man. But he came here. He got people the ball. He did what he's supposed to do. He ran offense. He played deep. Listen, man, it could be done. Now, when you was in the league, Rob, right, did you try to pull information out of the greats, man? Yeah, I talked to him. Like when and I was with uh, Washington, Phil Shamir was uh, an announcer, radio announcer. And I know he used to bust Clyde, man. I couldn't, I, when I was a kid, I, I was like, this dude, man. He used to kill Clyde sometimes. He played that D. He was tough, man. I think he swung on him one time, right? <laughs> so Phil was a tough dude, I, but he was a, you know, it was like, this dude right here, this good looking dude playing like that, man, playing so tough and hard. So it was good just to talk with him about, you know, about the game and ask questions. And, and you know, all, all my favorites, man. I mean, I said, Norm Nixon. I played with the Clippers. Norm Nixon was one of my favorite players, man. When yeah. I was with the Clippers, you know, he was hurt. Did you, you try to emulate his game? Uh, in terms of uh, mid range, speed on the break and stop and go. Hell yeah. And I did it a lot. Push that thing and you don't know what I'm gonna stop and just pull up and bow. Drive people crazy. You know what I'm saying? Norm used to do that. Look like you still got some game in you, boy. Right I still got game, man. I still play. I can play. And I'm and I I had a part of my foot, so I had to stop for a couple months. And I got a chance to do some other kind of working out. So and I played a couple weeks ago. Now I feel good, you know. For yeah. 60, you understand? Okay. Now I don't know if you've seen the interview where I interview uh David Britton, Kevin nah, Williams. David Britton, I um, don't ah. <laughs> we was talking about how the game changed with how the big man no longer just play inside the post. They taking, you know, 15 footers playing outside. How much of of that is important for a player like Mitchell Robinson, who's some, well, it has been said that he's been practicing shooting behind the arc for the past two seasons. But Mitchell he has Robinson a, is uh, the big man on the Knicks. On the Knicks, right? Right. Uh, it's, good. it's a good asset to have. To have that outside shot, I, I still like to bang it inside, man. Cause nobody does it. And if somebody bangs inside, it's, it's so easy, man. It's so easy. Nobody want no contact no more. But um, you know that's how the game has changed. They, they said it evolved, and you know you got Dirk Nowitzki. He was killer on that, on that. Uh, you know what I mean? That stretch, that stretch thing. What's up, man? How you feeling, bro? And hey, that's what's up, man. Peace, my bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dirk was killer on the street. Everybody not gonna be a Dirk, but everybody wanna be a Dirk. So you get guys that might mess the team up a little bit with the shooting the long tails. But what you gonna do, man? That's how the game is now. Uh, I, I still like a big man inside. Sometimes play inside, you know what I mean? Because nobody wanna be physical. Anymore. All right, my man. That's what it is, man. We got the one and only Steve Burton, man. On Real Talk with Nick, man, it was a pleasure having you, man, Not dropping knowledge and drools about the game of basketball, man. Not a problem, bro. Yeah, peace.